what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of connection or server your network issue you're currently having with titanfall 2 so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will probably know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want you guys to know let you guys know that, that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys you would support my work on youtube a little bit and i'm gonna really really be thankful for that and i'm gonna thank you for that so anyways i would just say let's get right started so the first step in order to fix this kind of issue is gonna be to click your windows and your r key at the same time so click it on your keyboard once you clicked it you should be able to see this little tab popping up what i want you to do is simply type in cmd and hit enter afterwards Next step is going to be to type in what I'm going to type in. So IP config space slash flush DNS and hit enter. Once it is successfully flushed, I simply want you to end this task again. Next step is going to be to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen. Click onto the settings and navigate to network and internet. Well, first of all, I want you to click into network troubleshooter where Windows searches for some kind of issue you're currently having. Next step is going to be to click into network and sharing center and navigate to the top left corner of your screen, clicking into change adapter settings. Afterwards, I want you to click onto the first one where it says either internet or ethernet, just depends on which one you're currently using. Right click it, disable. Once it is disabled, I simply want you to wait a few seconds and enable it again. The enabling process could take quite a few moments, so just wait patiently until it's connected again. And once it is connected, you should be able to return back to your network and sharing center by just simply ending this task. Next step is going to be to click under the blueprinted text where again it says Ethernet or Internet. Click on that. Properties. Double click Internet Protocol version 4. And navigate to use the following DNS server addresses. So on the preferred DNS server you could type in the Google DNS server address, you just need to Google it. Or you type in 4 times 8 and on the alternate DNS server 2 times 4 and 3 times 8. Afterwards click apply and OK. That's it for the video. I hope that it could actually help you out with this one, guys. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one, and bye.